where better to start than and with a bird comes is here i know my universe will never be the same i'm glad you came hi guys i'm tony from timpanies here i hope you've had a great week this week on our video blog i thought i'd get back to some good old handbag reviews and we've got um actually we've had so many new bags in this week i'm just going to pick out some of my favorites i'm not really sure how many i'm going to get through because i'm actually going to try and keep it to about five minutes if possible so i'll try and do about a minute on each bag first and foremost just to let you know that if you do fancy any of the pieces that you see today just click on the information link in the top corner of the screen and that will take you straight to our website where you can find all the details and you can also make a purchase don't forget there is only one of everything they're all individual just like you guys so without further ado let's crack on and where better to start than with a Birkin? Have a look at this. The first bag that I wanted to show you guys today was the Jean Paul Gaultier Hermes shoulder Birkin and fits so nicely just under the shoulder there. And then also, as per the usual, Birkins can also be carried in the crook of the arm as well. This length from here to here is 42 centimeters. It's in the palladium hardware, as you can see. You might be able to make out, there are a few little scratches here on the hardware, nothing too crazy to point out. It has been used, but it's been used pretty lightly. There's some mild wear on the corners, just turning it around for you so you can see get a nice good look at it and then I don't know if that helps <laughs> so this bag is an eye stamp let's have a look inside you can see how much I've stuffed it with don't judge me it's just to keep it shape it's good for the bag um, this bag does have a natural sag which is normal for Birkin bags. They're made in beautiful leather and that is just something that happens over time. You can see. And then you can see here, I'm hoping that it's going to be reasonable quality for you. They're incredibly hard to see even with the naked eye. But there you've got the letter I in a box which I believe denotes 2005. And then here you've got the letter 03A. I'm gonna just grab the stuffing out and then you can have a proper look inside. Here's the inside of the bag. To be honest, there's one tiny speck here to note, which you might be able to see on the camera. On the front, was there a tiny mark? Might have been a tiny mark somewhere. I mean, in general, there's nothing nothing really glaringly obvious to point out to you guys but there you go so that's the Jean Paul Gaultier shoulder Birkin as my number one piece in this week sticking with the kind of orangey red theme that I started with this is my next bag of choice to show you guys it's an absolutely beautiful Prada crocodile skin bag it's actually also got python skin there on the clasp and it's got silver hardware so this bag opens and closes like so at the front and you can open it like that it's probably been used once this bag it's in absolutely immaculate condition there's no obvious signs of wear at all it around for you guys to see and it's lined in a beautiful soft leather uh, in exactly the same color let me open it to show you so it's also lined in that beautiful soft leather and you can see inside the bag if I tilt it up there is one zip compartment the only area of where to note is this tiny little speck here at the bottom of my finger 
And that is actually where the bag has rubbed on itself because of this quite resilient skin rubbing on the soft leather interior. This bag was originally £9,500 and it was bought from Harrods. The bag also comes with its original dust bag and box as well, so we'll make an absolutely beautiful present for someone to The next piece I'm bringing you this afternoon is this absolutely amazing Louis Vuitton bag. It's from their collection extraordinaire from 2004, I believe, and it's a little pochette but you can see the absolutely amazing detail here on the front of the bag as you can see the bag is in absolutely excellent condition it comes presented in its box with the original dust bag and here if I hold it up you can see that it also features lime suede with gold stud detail and there's also a python skin shoulder strap. This piece is a collector's item and I'm so excited to sell it to someone who I know is going to absolutely adore it. Now I am aware that I said I wanted to keep it under five minutes. I've actually got three Chanel bags that I really really wanted to show you. I've got the Mademoiselle, the Duville and I've actually got this really cute fabric clutch bag which I'm going to prioritise this one and then maybe I will do a, another one on the Duville and the Mademoiselle. I might just quickly flash those up here so you can see it. In fact, I'm going to do that, bear with. So, that's the Mademoiselle. Really, oh, for, this, for the summer, this bag is gorgeous. Comes again with its original box. It's in pristine condition, a gorgeous bag. Absolutely beautiful little bag for the summer. The Duvel. And on really briefly to this really cute fabric Chanel bag. It is in really lovely condition. It's actually a really nice size and you get a lot of bag for your money considering um, the fact that it is Chanel. And it actually it looks really leather-esque. Uh, it's a really nice entry level Chanel. So there you go, there is the lining. Again, it's in really nice condition. It's lined in a satin fabric. You can see there, you've got your hologram. And it's, yeah, I mean, it's just a really cute little piece. And I'll pop it on my shoulder for you so you can see. I'm just gonna throw all my tags, sorry about that. Um, trying to show you so you can see. I hope you can see that. I just think it's a really, actually, a really nice size. And again, like the other Chanel's, you can double up the chain and wear it shorter as well. So that's going to be my final bag that I wanted to show you today. Sorry if I've rather rattled through these. Actually, do you know what? It'd be really interesting if you can just comment below. Let me know which of the bags you saw today were your favourite. We showed you an Hermes, we showed you a Louis Vuitton, we showed you a Prada and a Chanel. Of those four, what are your favourite brands? Because all of these make a difference. I'm trying to take in, bring in bags that you guys are interested to look at and to see more of. And also, I'd just be really interested to know bags you're choosing to buy at the moment. Are you choosing to go for something more trend focused, so the it bag, or are you actually looking to spend a bit more and invest in those timeless classics? So just all of that information, if you don't mind. I know you've probably got all afternoon just to, you know, spend commenting on my YouTube, but it's just a little bit of interest for me. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful week and can't wait to chat next week. Take care. Is here, I know. My universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came.